Secretary, you may read. Assembly Bill 2223 by Assemblymember Wicks, an act relating to reproductive health. Senator Skinner. Thank you, Mr. President. Members, AB 2223 will reinforce existing state protections and ensure that no one in California is prosecuted for ending a pregnancy or experiencing pregnancy loss. Um, it uh, removes the outdated provisions requiring coroners to investigate certain pregnancy losses and clarifies that the Reproductive Privacy Act prohibits criminalization of pregnancy loss and pregnancy outcomes. I ask for your I vote. Thank you. Any discussion or debate on this item? S Senator Melendez. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, so members, I am rising in opposition to this bill, as I am sure is no surprise, for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, why would we not allow an investigation of the birth of an infant? I don't quite understand. I want to find my, oops, my notes here. Okay. I appreciate that the author amended the bill, um, changed it from, deleted the phrase due to a pregnancy-related cause, um, that was replaced with due to causes that occurred in utero. Um, that doesn't really make the bill much better. If you can't hold anybody criminally or civilly liable for something that they do um, in the process of trying to perform an abortion, who are we protecting here? I mean, we just, I'm, I'm at a loss as to why we're even contemplating a bill like this. Um, you have another phrase in this bill that says, notwithstanding any other law, a person shall not be subject to civil or criminal liability or penalty based on their actions or omissions with respect to their pregnancy outcome. So you understand that a baby is the pregnancy outcome, right? So this means essentially a woman c could give birth to this baby either, you know, early um, preterm labor or, and that could be as a result of taking some sort of medication um, and then be allowed to just let the baby die and provide n no medical assistance. And this bill says that you could do that and you can't, hold anybody criminally liable for that. This body gives more regard to the lives of dogs and cats than it does to human beings. And that's wrong. That says something about our society. That says something about us as a people in the state of California. I am well aware of the fact that A, no one in here is paying attention to what I'm saying, and B, you're going to pass this bill anyway, but I just felt compelled to stand up and speak on behalf of the infants that may very well be born alive despite someone's attempt to make sure that that doesn't happen and state that they have a right to medical care and those who, who do them harm in the process should be held accountable, just like we hold accountable people who engage in animal cruelty. I'm asking for a no vote. Thank you. Any further discussion or debate on this item? Senator Grove. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I stand in opposition of two, to AB 2223. This bill is not about protecting mothers um, from pregnancy loss. This bill's true purpose is to cover up the crime of a botched abortion or self-induced abortion. It creates new unlicensed, unregulated class of people who, um, if they help the mother, will ensure, that help the mother to ensure that the baby does not survive 
after a botched abortion or self-induced um, abortion. This is referred to as perinatal death due to causes that occurred in utero. You know, we were in committee and I asked for a definition of in utero. I asked for a definition and one of my colleagues said, you don't need a definition. In utero is in utero. And I think in today's society, we do need definitions. It was just recently that I think it was the California Fish and Game said, you know, that a, uh, a fish was a bird and nobody can give a definition of a woman and there are different things that are going on. So I think a definition of what in utero is would be something that would be need to cleared up in this bill. This bill gives immunity to any sort of regulatory or medical oversight, investigation, or prosecution for the death of an infant born alive, meaning that the coroner's office cannot investigate any crime. So think about that for just a second. A baby's born alive, um, the, 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 the mother and uh, someone helping her leaves it on the counter and it just dies eight, 10 hours later. That's not even able to be investigated. There's also, if somebody interferes or triggers, uh, if somebody interferes with the investigation, it's a $25,000, um, uh, uh, triggers a lawsuit of $25,000 in penalties plus attorney's fees. This is one of the biggest concerns with AB 223. It'll prevent any investigation into the cause of the de baby's death, ensuring justice for the baby born alive. The pregnant mother or anyone who helps her is not just an abortion doctor or clinician, but it says anyone who aids or assists her will enjoy separate private legal cause of action against anyone who may inquire about the baby's death after birth. So it doesn't allow anybody to even stand on the side of the, the, the infant born alive. The bill opens Pandora's box of a potential consequences. The author stated that it's not her intention. However, the language in AB 223 leaves the door open for interpretation, and the vagueness within the bill's language states perinatal death due to causes occurred in utero. Um, this is the exact phrase, and it's yet to be defined, and there's no definition. Recent reports, both by Fox News and Live Action, illustrate exactly um, what will be beyond the reach of California investigators once AB 223 law is passed. For example, for example, in April of 2022, a 41-year-old Nebraska mother uh, uh, bought abortion pills for her 17-year-old pregnant daughter. The daughter took the pills, then gave birth to a viable 24-week baby boy. Again, it was a viable baby delivered alive. After his birth, the mother and the daughter stuffed the baby into a plastic bag, tried to burn the evidence, and then buried the baby's burned dead body. That under the AB 223 would not be allowed to be investigated by the coroner's office because the baby was, uh, the life ended in utero based on a definition or no definition allowed in AB 223. I ask for um, a no vote on this bill. This go bill goes way beyond the scope of just abortion on demand, abortion up until birth. This actually, this bill includes some of the definitions that were in this bill that the, um, that are in this bill also include afterbirth, and it's just unacceptable that we would even be debating this bill, and this bill is gonna pass. I know it is, just like my colleague from Lake Elsinore said, um, but we have the opportunity to stand up and tell you how wrong it is, and we respectfully ask for a no vote. Thank you. Any further discussion or debates? Senator Leva. Thank you, Mr. President. I can't help with all the craziness that we just heard, but I can't help with one thing. The definition of in utero is in a woman's uterus. So I was able to answer that question for the Senator from Bakersfield. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you. Senator Melendez, are you up again? No, okay. Any additional, Senator Melendez. Thank you. Just to clarify, and thank you, Mr. President, for allowing me in some additional time, the bill does not define um, what we're talking about here with respect to in utero. So um, previous comments aren't exactly correct. And I will remind you, or I guess educate you, um, on the difficulty that one can have in trying to determine whether or not an injury took place in utero or after having uh, delivered this baby. Kermit Gosnell, the famous abortion doctor who went to prison, when they went into um, his building where he was performing these abortions and they found these babies and they are trying to conduct their investigation, they determined that they were not able 
to figure out whether the injuries to these infants that were born alive, whether it happened in utero or after birth. It is not as simple as it sounds, and the bill does not address it adequately. And so, again, I ask for a no vote. Thank you. Any additional discussion or comments on this bill? Any additional discussion or comments? Hearing and seeing none, Senator Skinner. I ask for your I vote. She asked for I vote. Madam Secretary, please call the roll on file item 279. Allen? Aye. Archuleta? Aye. Atkins? Aye. Bates? No. Becker? Aye. Borges? No. Bradford? Aye. Caballero? Aye. Cortezzi? Aye. Daly? No. Dodd? Aye. DeRazzo? Aye. Eggman? Aye. Glazer? Aye. Gonzalez? Aye. Grove? No. Hertzberg? Aye. Hueso? Aye. Hurtado? Jones? No. Camlogger? Aye. Laird? Aye. Leva? Aye. Lamone? Aye. McGuire? Aye. Melendez? No. Min? Aye. Newman? Nielsen? No. Ochoa Bogue? No. Pan? Aye. Portentino? Aye. Roth? Aye. Rubio? Aye. Skinner? Aye. Stern? Aye. Umberg? Aye. Wykowski? Aye. Wiener? Aye. Wilk? No. Please call the absent members. Hurtado? Newman? Please call the absent members. Hurtado, Newman, aye. Ayes 30, noes 39, the measure passes.